This morning on our series, Life Lessons, we're talking about embracing new beginnings and what to do if you're feeling stuck. So here to help us with some strategies is Rhea Williams. She's a life and relationship coach and the founder of Realism Coaching. Like that name, Rhea. Realism. Thank you. So good to see you. It is so good to see you. I'm so grateful to be here. My dad's a super fan, so thanks for oh, having me. Oh, that's all. Well, say hi to dad for <laughs> Hey, us. dad. Uh, for, for, so for folks who are thinking about making, making changes in their lives, what's the one thing you have to do to start? Well, you know, the other day, Dylan gave us a beautiful example and demonstration of spring. Spring is about renewal. It's a time to reflect. And I want to give a shout out to Dylan and Chanel. Time off is important. Yes, it is. Um, it really is. But I always believe there is never a chance that you do not have an opportunity to make a fresh start. And that's any circumstance, any situation. You can start anew. So say you're ready to now blossom into spring. What's the first step? Where do you, where, where, where you start? Well, you know what? You got to take a step back. You have to pause. And so as human beings, we're very consumed, okay? And so when you're coming, imagine you're coming up into an intersection. You can go in four different directions. Mm -hmm. You don't just breeze into the intersection. You have to take a moment, pause, and reflect. So it's what direction do I want to go in? And so as you do that, you have to create the space to think. And then you have to say, you know, what do I need to make a new change? Now, not everybody can see that. So I'm really big about cleaning your filter, starting with the end goal in mind. So once you kind of have that moment to reflect, you say, okay, this is the direction I want to go in. What does the HALT stand for? Oh, are you happy? Are you angry? Are you upset? Are you lonely? Are you tired? Ooh, I'm ooh, an acronym. Break it down. <laughs> some, days, some days I'm all of those. Well, you know what? Sometimes people don't realize until they have an off day. Not a day off, but when you're off and you're feeling, mm. and that's why I feel so blessed to do what I do, because you don't always know it, you don't always see it, but you know when something isn't right. So you have to acknowledge the emotion. You have to acknowledge it. It, it would seem as if a lot of this starts with reflection. It does. Indeed, it does. But not dwelling there. So you reflect, but you don't dwell. So we all have had a lot of life experience. And I actually just mentioned cleaning your filter. So I'm a big example person. I like to make things plain. So let's say you're drinking a glass of water, mm -hmm. but the person before you was drinking, oh, I'm a Kool-Aid drinker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or coffee. Coffee yes. is relatable. Okay. Yeah. If you did not clean that glass all the way or yeah. the mug, you're going to taste yeah. the coffee. So, Or if you're doing laundry, when you take that filter out and you try to look through a filter after you put something in the dryer, you're not going to be able to see clearly. So the goal is just to get the filter clean and to do your best so that you can start anew with a new clean slate. So for a pro this process has to be different for each person. Some may take longer than others. How do you prep for that? You know what? I'm so glad you asked. I'm actually writing a book right now about that. Um, everyone has a different starting point. And so, you know, one thing I like to say is just keep the right amount of light in. So given that, if you imagine a garden, you know, some of us have more weeds. Maybe there aren't as many weeds, but the soil is hard as a rock. So we all have different tools. So you have to prepare for that. You know, you have to say, well, what tools do I need? And granted, you know, be a sponge. That's my favorite. So if you think about what a sponge does, you saturate it with water mm -hmm. and then you clean up the mess. Right. So you have to do something about it. And then again, you surround yourself with affirmation. So okay. affirmations are positive statements that become thoughts that become your reality. Can you give us a couple examples? I would love to. Oh, my God. So first you have to um, I'm going to oh, in any given moment, I'm mean, going to have to tell yourself. I have the power to choose well. So mm -hmm. some people think that the power is out of their control. No, you have the power. So at any given moment, guess what? You have the power to choose well. Another one, I deserve and am worthy of the very best and highest. So you have to tell yourself that. Many times our thoughts kind of play the storyline mm -hmm. and it keeps us from getting where we want to go. So those are two really strong ones. Those are terrific. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm Great so seeing happy you. To be here. I feel like I have a new fresh start. Yeah. Oh, good. And <laughs> I hope everyone watching does too. Yeah. We all need it. Thank we all you. deserve it. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.